Hello, hello everyone. Hello guys, how are you guys on today? Guess what time it is? It is story time with Miss Doris. I have an awesome, awesome story for us on today. I'm so excited. Today's story we are going to be reading is Finding Nemo Adventure Scene Storybook with Toy Story number two. Toy Story number two. I am so excited and guess what? Today's color is going to be the color, the color orange. Today's color is going to be the color orange. Today's the color orange. We do have our orange cards and our Muppet guest friend on today is going to be Mr. Pudgy. Pudgy is our Muppet doggy for today. He's our guest. Say hello to Pudgy. I'm going to go ahead on and get started. I would like to greet everyone all over the world. I would like to say hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and to some good night. Someone is going to bed somewhere in the world, but guess what? You are just in time for story time with Miss Doris. I'm so excited. The music you hear playing in the background, I do not own the copyright to the music that's playing in the background our children's music our children's music i'm gonna go ahead on and get started before we get started with our story on today i'd like to give a few shout outs to you out there in story time land hello and welcome to story time with miss doris i'm so glad you guys are tuning in or for those of you that's going to be catching the story time on replay i would like to welcome all of our new followers Hello and welcome to story time. I'm so excited about reading you a live story on today. A live story on today. I'd like to give a shout out to you, my POCC family. I'm here at the church on today. Um, to you guys, Pastor Nilek Lady, um, Sharice Washington. Hello, I hope you're having an awesome, awesome day. Hello to you, BJ and Brother Ruben and to Brother Artis. I hope you're having an awesome day on today, Brother Artis. To all the POCC family, hello guys. I hope you guys are having an awesome, awesome day on today. Hello, Lakeisha. Hello, Harmony. Hello, Shakana. Hello, Shaquavia. Hello, TM. I miss you, TM. How are you on today? Hello, Goddess. Hello, Ari. Oh my goodness. Hello, Unique Berry. Hello, um, Beauty Decor, all of these groups, they're brand new groups that just subscribe to Storytime. Lauren AP, Stone Jose C, hello Jose C, hello Evangelist Catherine Hoy, how are you on today? Veronica and your boys, how are you on today? Mark Clanton and Elect Lady Selena Washington, hello guys, how are you? I hope all of you out there in Storytime land are having an awesome, awesome day. Let's get started with our story for today. Finding Nemo Adventure Scenes Storybook along with story, Toy Story number two. Toy Story number two. Finding Nemo. See, Mom, Dad, it's for school. It was the day Nemo had been waiting for. Today he'd be going to school just like all the other kids along the way. Nemo excitedly peppered his father, Marlin, with questions. Have you ever met a shark? How old are sea turtles? Marlin was too nervous to listen. Nemo had a little fin because it was damaged by a barracuda when he was just a small egg. Marlin was worried that Nemo wouldn't keep up with the others doing their lesson. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Marlin meets Dory. Marlin was right to be worried. Something bad did happen to Nemo. He got captured by a human diver. Somehow, Marlin had to get his son back. Luckily, he bumped into a fish named Dory, who claimed to have seen the boat that took Nemo. They quickly swarm off together. Then Dory started acting really, really funny. She turned around and told Marlin to quit following her. 
When Marlin protested, she exclaimed, I forgot thing I forget things almost definitely instantly. It runs in my family. Well, um, I mean, at least I think it does. Hello and welcome to Storytime with Miss Doris. Today's story we're reading is Finding Nemo and Adventure Scenes of Torah Story Part 2. Soon Marlin and Dory found themselves at a party given by three sharks who were trying to kick their bad habit of eating other fish. Fish are friends, not food, they chanted. After finding a diverse mass with an address on it, Marlin and Dory headed for Sydney. They were swimming over a deep, deep, dark trench where they were suddenly surrounded by hundreds and hundreds of steam jelly fish. A father's quest. After their encounter with the stinky jellyfish, Dory and Norlin, Marlin were rescued by sea turtles who were riding the swift East Australia current. As the group was carried along the flowing water, Marlin told a wide-eyed crowd of turtle kids all about his search for Nemo. And soon the story of the brave little clownfish on a big mission made it all, all the way to Sydney where Nemo and his friends heard it. Nemo had to find a way out of the dentist's fish tank to meet up with his dad. Thinking quickly, Nemo played dead and got washed down the dentist's spit, sink into the ocean. At least Marlin and Nemo were reunited. As they headed back to their reef home, Nemo gave his father a hug. Love you, Dad, he said. Toy Story 2 It's you, it's really you, Woody gathered up in a big hug by a cowgirl doll he'd never, never, ever seen before. A toy horse pranced happily next to a box and another toy inside it. The cowgirl introduced herself as Jessie. Bull's eye was a horse. And say hello to the prospector, said Jessie. His mint in the box. he never been open. How do you know? How do you all know me? asked Woody. Then he saw his own face on the magazine cover. He was the star of Woody's Roundup on the old TV show. He was famous. Operation Rescue Woody. Buzz called an emergency meeting of all Andy's toys. They had to rescue their friend before Andy got back from cowboy camp. They knew that Al McWiggin of Al's toy born had stolen Woody. Etch a sketch quickly drew up a street map that gave them directions to the store. They were on their way. Buzz, Ham, Mr. Potato Head, Slinky Dog and Rex were on the recovery team after a terrifying journey through the town that involved crossing a major, major street. Under cover of street traffic cones and the toys arrived at the toy store. The huge entrance loomed in front of them. Buzz and his friends couldn't believe how big the store was. Would they ever be able to find Woody among all those toys? Woody's 
big decision. Woody wasn't at the toy store, as his friend soon discovered. Al had taken the special toy back to his apartment. The rescue party tumbled from the air vent in Al's hmm, apartment and fell a heap. Woody, we're here to rescue you, they called. But Woody thought, helping Jesse and the gang from Woody's Roundup, keeping them all together. For a museum collection was more important. You are a child's plaything. Buzz reminded Woody, nothing is more important than that. Woody scraped the paint from the shoe. Buzz was right. He was Andy's toy. Nothing else mattered. Home sweet home. Andy was finally home from cowboy camp. The toys had a special welcome waiting for him and Andy picked up Jesse and Bullseye. New toys, thanks mom. Buzz and Woody looked at each other and smiled. Being a child's plaything was all right with them. The end. Wow, this was an awesome story we read on today. You guys are so awesome. You sat so attentively while Miss Doris read you guys a story on today. I'm so excited. Thank you so much for tuning in. And remember, if you're not feeling well, always, always let someone know <clears throat> excuse me, that you're not feeling well. And guess what? They will take really, really, really good care of you. And when you're out and about or playing with your favorite toys, like on the Toy Story, make sure that you are washing and sanitizing your hands at all, all times. It's important that we are sanitizing our hands and practicing safety, safety first. Practicing safety first. And remember, when you're out in public with mom or dad or nana, Papa, make sure that you are wearing your mask at all times and you don't take your mask off unless someone tells you to remember we are still practicing safety safety first at all times safety first at all times so make sure you guys are practicing safety first and you are wearing your mask I enjoyed reading you guys' story on today. Don't forget, make sure you're sharing the story time video with your family and friends. I love you guys. And remember, if you're not smiling on today, guess what? Miss Dora is at story time and Pudgy the Muppet has a smile just for you. You guys are awesome. See you on tomorrow. Remember, on Wednesdays or our Christian days, tomorrow we'll be reading a Christian story on tomorrow. God bless you all. Have an awesome day and be safe.